Hey guys, I've got another short lesson for you today. Um, 3-4 is called linear programming. Um, so for our objectives for today, we're going to be answering the question, how do we graph systems of linear inequalities? So we're going to be doing that. And also from those graphs um, on the coordinate grid, we're going to then um, use real world problems and find solutions. So vocabulary. Um, when you have limits in a problem, these are called our constraints because they um, set like boundaries. Linear programming is a method for finding a minimum or a maximum value based on these constraints. And then the feasible region is um, that area that shaded that satisfies all the constraints. Usually it's going to be in some shape like a square or a triangle or a trapezoid or something like that. And then um, we'll have a, an objective function to find our minimum and our maximum. And in order to satisfy that function, we plug in the vertices of our feasible region. So for this one, we're going to um, we're going to talk about feasible region. So if I want to graph each one of these, x is greater than or equal to 2, I make a line at 2, and I'm going to shade to the right. y is greater than or equal to 3, make a line at 3 on the y-axis, shade above. Um, y is less than or equal to 6, um, make a line I'm going to shade below, and x plus y is less than or equal to 10, is this line. Now, my feasible region is the area between all of these, um, all of these points that satisfies, and as you can tell in this one, the shape is a trapezoid. And then when we use our objective functions, um, we use these points of the vertices of our constraints. So, um, if there is a maximum or minimum value of the linear objective function, it occurs at one or more vertices of the feasible region. So what you're going to have to do is to check all the vertices and find out when you substitute in which one has the maximum value, which one has the minimum value. Oops. So, um, what point in the feasible region maximizes p for the objective function, p equals 2x plus y? Now, if it maximizes, that means we want the biggest number, right? So what I'm going to do for these is just plug in x and y. So this one, p equals 2 times 2 plus 0. 2 times 2 is 4. So if we use the point 2, 0, that's one of the vertices of our um, feasible region, we get 4. If we plug in 0, 0, 2 times 0 plus 0, p is 0, 3, 1, p equals 2 times 3 plus 1, so that one p equals 7, and this one p equals 2 times 0 plus 2.5, so p is 2.5. So for this one, if we want to maximize which one of these is the maximum, well it's obviously p equals 7, so our point 3, 1 would be our um, objective, our, our um, point that maximizes our objective function. Okay, so all that happened here was I gave you the, these are the points. So then um, here are the equations. So you would graph those equations on a coordinate grid, shade the area. Um, a, B, C, and D are the points that meet for that feasible region. Um, and then you would just evaluate each of those points. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this one. What if the objective function of problem 1 is p equals x plus 3y? Um, we want to maximize p. So we're going to use those same points as above. So go ahead and um, figure that one out and see which one maximizes this new objective function. So when I did it, I found that our fourth point, 0, 2.5, actually maximizes this objective function. So there we go. We're done. So go ahead and graph these two um, sets of inequalities. Find your constraints. And then I want you to name the vertices of the feasible region. So what are the four? So since we have four graphs, um, four inequalities, we should have four points, at least four points where they meet. This one, it makes this, um, a rectangle. So, All right, and then compare these with your partner. And you have lesson 3-4 for homework, and we have a quiz on Monday.